In this video, we're going to look at how the Clippers lost track of nearly every shooter in Sunday's loss. It starts early for the Clippers in terms of the pain department of losing track of shooters. They're up 10 to 1. Randall's pushing the ball on the break. Kawhi Leonard is on the back line of the defense, pointing everyone out to where to be. As it ends up happening, Reggie Jackson's stuck in kind of like no man's land here as Zubots hustles back into the play. Zubots is anchored down low because he's a big man. That's where he thinks he has to be. He doesn't X out to Bullock fast enough. Bullock gets a wide open look. This is a great look for a great shooter. And guess what Reggie Bullock does? Knocks it in. We start off here with a screen being set by Randall. This is just early action that the Knicks like to run on a lot of their possessions. They love to use Julius Randall as a screener to then get him isolated in the mid post against the defender. It's worked all year for them. They try to do it here. As Randall's operating the mid post and comes middle of the floor, we notice Noel's uh, tight roping the baseline. As he does it, Leonard is paying way too much attention to him and not realizing he has to get back to RJ Barrett. Randall's going to pass to Barrett here, and Leonard's late on the closeout. He closed out too aggressively, allows Barrett to drive. Noel digs down for a possible lob attempt, which is going to pull George down, which means what? Bullock is going to be open in the weak side corner. Barrett kicks to Bullock. Bullock is open. Gets a nice free and easy release for three. And once again, Cash is at home for the Knicks. Sometimes the Clippers didn't leave open a shooter just off of sheer, you know, just brain farting. Sometimes it could be because something happens on the play that is that, you know, you can't prepare for. Screen being set by Taj Gibson against Reggie Jackson. Jackson's going to go to the floor here. This causes the issue. Batum's anchored at the elbow, and Rose throws a pass that Batum almost deflects, gets it to Tilakina in the corner. He ends up knocking down this three. George doesn't contest it, and he ends up making it, and the Clippers are in trouble. It was very apparent in this game how much the Clippers still have to traverse defensively in order to be a top-flight defensive team. Rose is trying to set a screen to get a switch with George onto Randall. Instead, it's going to be Morris still onto him. Going back to what I said, though, like the Clippers still are trying to get continuity on the defensive end. Randall goes to drive. Leonard's going to come over to help, which means Barrett's going to be open in the corner. As Randall comes down, Beverly makes the mistake here. He needs to X out to the corner faster than he does. He's confused. It's a late closeout. It's an open look for RJ Barrett, and he gives the Knicks the lead going into the half. Leonard just did not look good on the defensive end of the floor, really not even in the game overall. He's going to end up watching Alfred Payton drive here, and as he watches this, he's going to lose track of Barrett in the corner yet again. Drive happens down the baseline. Leonard just completely lost where Barrett is. He doesn't know. The pass is going to come to Barrett. Leonard has to try to recover, and Barrett makes this one as well. Now, this is a fundamental mistake by the Clippers in transition. Bullock gets the ball. Jackson's going to go under him. He doesn't pressure the ball. You have to pressure the ball here. Otherwise, Bullock is able to just to turn and fire. George doesn't contest. It's a free and easy release, and it's another make. Man, the Clippers had a really tough time thinking on their feet and matching up defensively when the Knicks were in transition. It caused them all sorts of problems. George, as we see here, is pointed for Morris to go out to Bullock in the corner. But Bullock's going to come up the wing and get a screen here. And George hits the screen. There's no contest on this three. Look at this. It's wide open. No contest. And another make. All right, now the Clippers are cross matched in transition. Not a great thing for them here, with Beverly being the defender against Randall. Screen set by Noel. Beverly's going to get hit by the screen, but he stays in good defensive possession here. Position, excuse me, against Randall. Ball goes to Bullock and back to Randall. The problem is Rondo is anchored too far away from Bullock trying to help Beverly on this play. Ball goes to Bullock. Rondo doesn't give a good contest. Bullock's a knockdown shooter. These are the types of defensive mistakes that can be kind of ironed out with more time together. We're going to see the ball come up to Barrett and a screen being set by Gibson against Rondo. Rondo does a great job of getting over the top of the screen, but Jackson's anchored too far away from Rose on the wing. Rose gets the ball. Jackson doesn't give a contest. Rose has been a good three-point shooter this season, and he makes this one to extend the New York lead. All right, final possession, and we see a little bit of something we don't see a lot of from the Clippers, a box and one. Batum is the defender against Randall. He's the one. Everyone else is in the box, and here comes the problem that the Clippers run into. Barrett's wide open on the wing, which means Cousins has to be the guy who runs out there as the other side of the box on the low side. George points to Cousins to get out there. The ball's going to get rotated to Barrett. Barrett's just going to pull up over the top of Cousins. This was too late of a defensive rotation, and the Clippers got killed all night by being late defensively to open shooters.